everyone. We are so glad to have you in our CSE 142 this summer. Today, I'm going to share with you a few tips how to start an assignment in this class. The very first thing that you have to do is to go to our website and find a corresponding link to the, the assignment that you are going to work on this time, and then click it. You will be brought into the GitHub classroom and click accept the assignment. Then a GitHub repo will be created for you that includes uh, the content that you need to work on for this assignment and this lab. After re the repo is created, you can navigate it through this repo and you will find a written document that tells you how to set up the environment uh, and also it contains all the content that you need to know for this assignment. In the readme file, there is a link to our data hub and click the link, uh, use your UCSANIA account to log in. After you log in, launch the class uh, container uh, for, the, for CSE 142. And you will see an interface that includes a lot of good tools. For example, you can launch VS Code or a terminal here. And for the first time, you should use the terminal to get your keys set up for GitHub uh, access. And the instruction is exactly in our readme document in your GitHub repo. So just follow the steps in a terminal and then uh, use the uh, instructions that we give in the readme, which will create the public key that you will be later using for your GitHub access. Once you have that public key available, go to your GitHub account. And in your account settings, you should be able to find a section where allow you to add your SSH keys inside uh, your GitHub account. Once you have added your public key into the, your GitHub account, you should be able to clone the GitHub repo. Uh, and to clone your GitHub repo, make sure that you are selecting the SSH method as your GitHub clone, git clone method. And then again, go to your terminal and type GitHub git clone of your address. And then you would have, you will see the folder of your assignment here and click into this folder, you will find assignment uh, notebook file. Click on it, you will see the Jupyter notebook that allow you to work on your assignment. And don't forget to click on the very first cell of each assignment. Without that, a lot of functions won't work. And then uh, going through the document carefully because everything is, every detail is important in this document. In each of the code cell, you can press shift and return or enter to execute it. And some of them will generate the code result. To give it us an answer, just click, double click the cells, uh, allow you to put your answers and edit the cell carefully to put the right answer in. And once you are done, don't forget to press shift return or shift enter again to see if the result is rendered correctly. In addition to Markdown syntax, Jupyter Notebook also supports LaTeX syntax if you need to type equations or formulas. And to start with that, it's, it's relatively easy. Again, in each of the Markdown cell, just make sure that your syntax, uh, LaTeX syntax start with a single line and uh, you put a, a double dollar sign before your LaTeX syntax. And don't forget at the end, all you need to do is to put another pair of double dollar sign and that would allow a uh, lot of syntax to be understood by uh, the Jupyter Notebook framework. And after you are, uh, and make sure that you go through everything because uh, there is a serial nature in Jupyter Notebook. So if you try to do things out of order, it won't work. However, so if you find errors, uh, make sure that uh, you finish all the cells before the error cell, and then your Jupyter Notebook should function uh, correctly as you wish. And uh, in each of the homework, we do have the program assignment. And uh, the program assignment has a lot of things that uh, a lot of instructions for you to follow. And if you really want to edit the code, we also provide a VS Code interface that you can launch from the Jupyter Hub uh, interface. And then in this uh, Jupyter uh, in this VS Code interface, you are able to edit your code, like 
what you can do in VS Code locally. And you can also enjoy the feature of automatic uh, GitHub, uh, uh, GitHub extension as the local version of the, uh, of the VS Code. Once you are done with the notebook, don't forget to save the notebook and follow the latest part of your lab assignment to uh, uh, prepare a submission for your assignment. Once you follow the instruction from the last part of your assignment, you are ready to train in your assignment from the grade school. But before that, make sure that you already have your uh, GitHub repo up to date. And when you submit, just click the GitHub on, uh, on, on, on the grade scope interface and select the repo that contains uh, your code and the right branch that contains your current most up-to-date work. And once you upload it, uh, the GitHub server will, uh, sorry, the Grayscope server will run your code and run an auto grader. And remember, there is a different machine from our cluster and the auto grader has different uh, test data. So if you see the output has errors, make sure that, and uh, if you don't score 100, it's definitely a good idea to review your code, review the output, review the error message. And finally, we hope you all have an enjoyable summer. I will see you in class. Goodbye.